Hey everybody, it's great to see you all. Hopefully you're having a good day. Today I want to elaborate on a game that I enjoy myself and that you guys might enjoy as well. The game is called Streamline, a game based off of the Netherland Railways in the 1950s. The game, however, is a pay-to-play, requiring you to pay 25 Robux to gain access. It's a fun game, and I'm going to explain how to get better at the game. Step 1, The Beginner Engines The two engines that you start off with are the NS2100 and the NS4500. The NS4500 is better anyway since, since it pulls more cars. You can select the livery and then spawn it. You can also have the option to add either freight or passenger. I'll demonstrate with the CHC, the starting coach. Once you spawn in, you can use the cylinders with C, the bell with B, the lights with L, and for some reason the whistle and the whistle slash horn with the space bar. Ways to pull into a station are by putting brakes to max and shutting off steam. You can press T to reverse when you enter the terminus, T to pick up passengers, and then T again to unload them at different stations. Step 2. Game Pass Selection The two main game passes you should buy, in my opinion, are the Podvis and War Department. Let me explain. The Podvis is an engine that is the same as the NS3700, the best steam, loc for steam locomotive for passengers in the game. It's identical because it's the same engine, but with streamlining. However, it was known for worse performance. It can carry two first-class coaches, three second-class coaches, and nine third-class coaches. It can also have a top speed of 105 miles per hour. It's pretty darn fast. Now the War Department. It features three main Robux engines. The Dean Goods, an 060 with two liveries. The S160, an American engine by Baldwin and the S-100, with both Nasu Mine and USTAC liveries. Along with that, the NS-5000, the 210 gets a war livery as well as the NS-4300. This ends up making both free because all you need is a livery, not the actual engine. There is also for free, in the set, a special bogey wagon, a gondola that is the best war car, two construction flatbeds, and a livery for the second best tanker in the game. Also, a caboose that grants 20% more money. I'll demonstrate that money you can get from a chemical run with the NS5000. Oh, that's nice! As you can see, the amount you can earn in early game is incredible, and I highly advise buying one or the other, or both. Step 3. Ignore speed limits. Do you see those speed limit signs telling you to slow down to speed level? Completely ignore them. They are pointless for both golden and XP grinding. The things you should pay attention to is stopping accuracy and signal lights. It's only two in the game that affect trains. And if you do end up missing one signal light, don't just destroy your train because you'll waste time and it's better off to at least finish the train. So, my opinion? It's a good game! It does take a long time to grind for certain engines, however. Well, there are various ways of earning money. So, now you know how to play the game and you can get better at it. So, I would advise to start playing now, before it's too late, and you start worrying about whether or not you can end up catching up to the endgame players. I'll see you guys in the next video.